Hello and welcome to another episode of Tux Lives and I have something very fun and cool to show you in this episode. Uh, I'm not sure how practical it is. <laughs> I don't think it's practical at all, but I think it could be fun for, uh, it could liven up if you've just got a little like light maintenance to do, some dreary maintenance and you want to do it in a slightly more fun environment and it could liven up, uh, a video if you're doing a tutorial, a terminal tutorial. But uh, I'm one of those Linux adopters you could say has gone command line crazy. So you just look at the applications that I have launching automatically when I turn on the machine. I've got Gwake and I'm running Fish on Gwake. I have got Cool Retro Term. I'm using ZSH on Cool Retro Term. And I'm even messing around with Tilix or Tilix or however it's pronounced. The default um, multiplexing shell that comes with the, bip, the budgie desktop. And I've been having fun messing around with that. So what I'm going to show you is called Edex UI. And it was inspired by the Tron movies. And like all nerds, I love Tron. I saw it when it came out. In fact... I'm so 80s, I saw Tron and The Secret of Nim on the same day. <laughs> I went with my sibs and a cousin, and we couldn't make up our minds, and we saw them both. So my Tron memories go back to the beginning, the dawn of Tron. So I'm going to show you uh, how to get a hold of Edex UI, uh, how to load it, and we'll take a quick look at it. So just hi on over to your search engine of choice type in edex ui head straight over to the github scroll on down and here we have our downloads and it's available on windows and mac as well at the moment, it is not in many repositories, so your best bet is coming here and downloading an app image, and I'll show you how to load the app image. I'm gonna dump this in my home folder for convenience. Look at that fast download. We're gonna get the heck out of there. We're gonna head over here. We're gonna do this. Go to properties gonna go to permissions gonna click allow executing file as program we're gonna drop out of there and we're gonna double click this bad boy and I should get a window asking me if I wish to add this to my menu at this time I'm gonna say no cuz I'm not planning on using this that often and now we gotta sit back and wait for this bad boy to load uh, it does take a minute or two to load for the first time uh, I found it loaded pretty fast on my Lenovo compared to this. So I'm just going to keep jabbering while we're waiting for this thing to come up. <laughs> See how long this takes. There we go. We're going to get some sound effects and some visual effects right about now. Right about now. Right about now. And we're in. As you can see, this is nothing but eye candy, kids. It does have some nice, like, conky-like features, but it's not that practical. So as you can see, you don't get a lot of real estate here. <laughs> this is not a lot of room to do anything intricate. And I, I believe this is configurable, uh, and you can change things about it. You certainly get a, a lot of themes that you can choose from. But, uh... Yeah, this is not the um, the most spacious uh, area to do work in. So like I said, if you have some like dreary upkeep kind of stuff, uh, upgrading programs, uh, maybe you just want to delete some dependencies from old packages, maybe uh, remove some files or move some things around or do a very simple uh, edit to a config file, 
this this would do do the job, but it's way too busy. <laughs> a, a whole lot going on here, but some of it is useful. You've got the time with the 24-hour clock. You got the date, your uptime, your operating system. You've got uh, some Neo Fetch uh, style of uh, hardware information here. You've got a simple CPU readout. You got your temps, and we're running a little hot right now, kids. <laughs> definitely not going to use this program often this thing's usually way down in like the upper 40s and we've got our load our loads our tasks bash top style memory readout and you've got a uh, top program here sort of minimal top over here we got your network status and you have this sort of movie style effect i don't think it does anything and you've got your network traffic so we're going to check out the themes, but first I'm going to show you a little bit about the navigation here. You'll see it opens in the directory of the, uh, the program, and then it moves inside the directory. So you can always do this and get back to where you came from. Or I could go back, back into themes. So we're just going to try uh, one theme here, maybe two themes. Let's try Matrix, and you'll see how this works. It takes a second, the uh, screen's going to blank out, and it's going to reload with a fancy new theme uh, inspired by the Matrix. So let's just let this do its thing. Take a second here. Uh, it is pretty slow. It's not the zippiest program. It is fun, though. I mean, come on. This is fun. And I like this a lot. I love green on black. I love this solarized background here. And you have a, a completely different prompt. Uh, I, everything else looks the same. Some of this moves around. You, you have to try every single theme to, uh, to figure it out. Uh, but uh, sometimes the keyboard is over here or it's in the middle. Uh, one or two of them, you can only navigate the uh, directory inside the terminal. There's no graphic for you. Uh, in some, the uh, window is pushed all the way here and all this errata is on this side or on the bottom and so on and so forth. And I believe that you can configure this as well. And let's just run some <laughs> generic program and see what it looks like inside of here uh, there we go and it looks nice uh, it's eye candy uh, I don't know if I mentioned this but basically on the github it says it was designed for uh, making subreddit uh, Linux desktop porn so <laughs> it's not really this is not something uh, you want to be uh, running all the time and yeah I don't like this <laughs> this is this program I'm sure so we're gonna get out of here and that's that so you can just go over here and uh, not over there why would I go over there what am I doing I'm losing my mind you can just head over to ye old uh, github and uh, oh yeah we're getting a little log jam there <laughs> time to turn that program off uh, yeah, this I don't think it's going to be good for old machines like this. It's it's really eating up a lot of a lot of uh, space to run the thing. Uh, but it wor it works much better on on my laptop, and I do have uh, have been having fun with it there. But this old thing, this old beast, uh, I don't think it's a good program for it. So that's everything, kids. That's all I wanted to show you, and. Uh, Let's get back to where I was. Here I am. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. It was just a short thing that I wanted to share with you. And uh, maybe one of these days I'm just going to go through all my terminal toys. All my command line toys. And we'll uh, take a look at them one by one. But that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this thang a try and let me know what you think. And I'll be back soon with uh, some... Uh, more substantive content <laughs> but this was too fun to pass up and of course uh if you are on 
library. I am on library, library TV, and Odyssey, so check me out over there. And I got a lot of exciting content and stuff coming your way. And I forgot to turn the <laughs> edX off. You can still hear the sound effects. That's annoying. So anyway, that's it for today. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And I will see you soon. Until then.